Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel S2T. In today's show, Computer Wednesday, we're going to talk about the top 5 free PC application that will help you with your productivity and everything in general. So, let's dive right into it. Well, first, the first thing I do once I, uh, you know, get a complete clean Windows install is I install Infarm Viewer. Now, it's an image viewer. It's not something fancy like VLC. It's just an image viewer. However, you have to understand, it is incredibly lightweight because Again, it's an image where it should not take your CPU, RAM, hard drive. It's like less than 5 MB. Uh, so it's very lightweight on your resources. And here's the funny thing. It can read almost every single format under the sun in image format. And I knew about this simply because, again, when I was doing as a 3D game artist, the company had this application. And we had formats that you have never heard of. Like when you go into Photoshop, when you save as you see all those options, this puppy can read all of them. Like uh, from Photoshop to Targa to TNG to camera raw files this puppy can directly read that and if it cannot read that you can be damn sure uh, the people are working on it to make a patch because again every dslr changes it a little bit so it's not like okay sony uh, raw file it will read every sony file that's why every camera review is like you know oh the raw cannot be processed yet this can handle all of that and doing that with such a minimal uh, you know call impact on your computer it's amazing and you can do so many things beyond that you can do image conversion like uh, i'll give you a simple example let's say you do print screen now if you save the file in jpeg you will always find the spidering artifact especially around the text file it does not look clean however you, let's say you pre uh, press the print screen keyboard but shortcut and control v it in the in front you you can save it as png benefit of png images will be crystal clear and sharp and PNG is an easy enough software, uh, basically easy enough format that any computer can read it. So that's the reality. Like you can do image conversion from weird formats to useful formats. Then you can do batch processing. So let's say you found out like uh, there is a lot of older, uh, basically raw files from a camera, but you don't want to uh, you know go into Lightroom and do any who have with that. And again, Lightroom is a costly application, or even you are doing <laughs> free with it, uh, it still will cost you time and effort. You want to just like batch process, like bro, just just convert it, like you know just convert it. This but we can handle that so that's the power of it it's a simple it's free it is powerful as hell and it's light on your system however you have to understand this i'm not gonna say everything is fine and dandy. it does have outdated interface to make the application so lightweight they trimmed out all the facts so it does not look uh, right quote unquote in uh, basically windows 10 environment but because it's a free and open environment people have skins for it you can uh, select a skin that makes it look uh, the way you want it to i don't bother with that i don't need that but again it's quite amazing but you have to understand the setup is kind of complex because it has many behaviors basically let's say you have a folder you have multiple images selected into, uh, like in that folder and you're scrubbing through it like one by one once it reaches to the end the uh, default behavior is gonna ping it's like ting the folder is empty now but uh, i wanted it to loop so like you know go back again for many people they want to know that oh i have reached the end of the folder i just wanted to loop so Again, all of those can be controlled, but it does require you to go through the setup and it could be daunting. It could be daunting. So be mindful, like go into this. You're going to love this. I can guarantee that, but you have to be with mindful. Don't go into like, oh, it's going to be dandy and easy. It, it, it is a bit tedious, but it's amazing. Then we come to the another application, Notepad++. If you have any programmer friend, you can almost bet money on it that they use this. Like it's that popular in programming community. And there is a good reason for that. It has add-on abilities. Basically, it's a free. And when I mean free, I mean open source level free. Basically, you can go into the code and make your own stuff if you want to. Like, uh, and I use this for my YouTube management. Why? Because I have to make video of like, you know, two videos every day and I have to have hundreds of tags. I have to handle uh, description and I have to handle uh, hashtags. Now, problem that happens with a normal windows uh, basically it has no function and it has no formatting issues the side effect of that is like if i uh, move out and I accidentally close the system of system shutdown however which has happened again and again uh, then this does not do auto save this can do auto save it can do auto save plus uh, auto backup plus uh, save as so it has a lot of save options alone and those are really crucial for me because i do want to handle a large amount of text files and i want to handle them safe way basically like if i'm tampering something it should be permanently saved and there should be a backup so you get the idea like there is a lot of uh, ability that you can add to this if you need basically there are multiple programming specific abilities that if you don't need you don't add on it then you also have to understand this supports programming language and when i say programming i mean almost everything under the sun from html files from you like let's say you're directly saving a website and you want to re look into the uh, basically the html code without like you know being in like gibberish 
this will can handle that and it will give you color codes accurately so it's amazing for a normal day-to-day -day user now another aspect if you handle a lot of text files the biggest hurdle with a uh, notepad is like basically it will create new new window every time this creates one window and have tabs inside it you can disable this behavior if you want to but this basically makes it like a chrome so you can have multiple options over quite amazing like if you're really going through multiple text documents this really saves uh, time however it does have complex learning curve it's not as bad as in fun view because again in fun view you have to set up all in once and then forget about it this you have to like you know oh i want this feature oh, i want that macro i want this so it does allow you to go in deep and it's completely free and it's almost at par with like you know word and all that jazz then we come to the another uh, secret application, Clipspeak. Now, uh, many people have commented how the heck I'm, uh, you know, going through so much documentation uh, because again, Wikipedia has a lot of information. Then you have to go through the links, the links that relates to your research paper and PDFs and uh, uh, company filings and all that. Those are again, giant wall of text. We don't like wall of text. We humans don't like wall of text. Reading through it on a computer screen is not only, uh, you know, requiring a lot of patience, which I have none, and it's also harmful for your eyes. So what do I do? I generally utilize Clipspeak. Is the easiest way i found to read through manuals because it's a simple text to speech software nothing complicated it just does one thing and it does one thing very alone it's very simple and light basically all it does to read what is supposed to read you have to press ctrl c aka copy basically put anything in the clipboard it will read it out now that's the side effect of this puppy it's very dumb so if you copy paste address website address this will also read http dot colon colon slash www dot lol 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 dot com so it does that it's kind of dumb but it does work it's simple and uh, in terms of control you don't have too much control you have control over speed that, that is amazing for me because when i started this application i was like you know middle exactly like speed was normal then i started to almost i'm right now almost touching the edge i have to keep it that fast and it has two voice option you have male and female option and here's the interesting part if you are reading through documents that you are really like or uh, pdf manuals which are huge uh, you can save them into mp3 files so let's say you have one paragraph it's like video format and you want to listen to it again and again and again so you can memorize it again you have to do that for cameras because modern cameras are complex you can save them in mp3 file and listen to it or heck you can create your own audiobook using this feature so it's quite lightweight like in terms of megabytes it's lightweight as hell but it does not have too much control and you know, the most painful aspect for me is like it is dead the software has not been touched from 2010 now it works it's simple elegant open source every tom dick and harry check the code yeah, there is no malicious intent inside it so it's safe but it's dead so it's painful that this application has died and i have not found even a single application that comes close to this it's simple all i would have wished is like somebody would have created a different keyboard shortcuts like you know okay that does the same copy thing but it only does when you press different keyboard shortcuts. so when i am copy pasting website address this will not read it out so it has some uh, dumb aspect to it, but it is very simple, effective, and it works. Then we come to the another aspect. This is the aspect that is a bane of our hard drives. Is basically your hard drive fills up and it just fills up. The more application you install, the more randomly it fills up. Like your application will say, oh, it needs 500 megabytes of space. But once you start utilizing it, it will be randomly like, hey, where my five, six gigabytes I'm missing. That happens. Now you to analyze that, you have to need something that can check disk space occupancy. Basically, what the hell is consuming your space? So Space Sniffer is the simplest, most elegant solution I have found. There are other applications and many of them are very good. However, they are very tacky and like, you know, colors and all that. This is very simple. This is kind of sterile. However, the benefit of sterile it's very lightweight it's a simple clean and you can run it out of a pen drive so basically you can carry around a pen drive in you uh, on you basically uh, that has this application so if you have friend is having issue to die do not know why the heck all of the you know space is filled you can just plug it and it will show you it will show you how big your temp files are it will show you like it's uh, like uh, imagine it this way let's say you bought a blu-ray and you backed it up on a computer but the moment you open the blu-ray folder where you have backed it up you will find out there is like 20 uh, folders inside it which one has that uh, like you know the actual movie file you will not find it because the name is completely different you op run this up it will show the one giant file you right click it open it you get that directly so there are amazing applications advantage to us and you can like even you can directly clone your computer uh, basically mobiles uh, micro sd card or the whole thing and it can e even read that indirectly it cannot directly read uh, basically androids or uh, apple and all that you have to clone the whole drive into a dummy folder and then read that then it will show you like okay this temp file is like you know hidden and it's consuming that much space so it's quite amazing for what it is light simple elegant 
and it allows you to see through almost anything it's like oh dude oh this one random folder like you you may have like you know only backing of uh, let's say photos but randomly you for uh, copied one movie accidentally or you had one video that you supposed to delete or you forgot to delete and that video files are huge you randomly find hey why my backup files are so huge you can just check through it visually so it's quite amazing space sniffer then we come to the another aspect the painful aspect of owning a computer is that hard drives are consumable they wear out they die and it's inevitable it's inevitable to a point where people whose livelihood depends on it aka server administration hard drive is a consumable basically they will have carts of hard drive coming in and going out they're like yeah this many hard drive died this many hard drive and they do not hesitate about it they have to change it however uh, common people like you and me they have a side effect we don't have that luxury and the data in that hard drive is generally not uh, quote unquote backed up multiple places so uh, why this application helps us is simply because it reads the smart data of your hard drive hard drive because of the nature of hard drive hard drive fails and the people who started building hard drives they uh, realized that and they created a completely comprehensive data points where you can check because when a hard drive is sold to you every manufacturer knows that this hard drive can handle let's say 50 bad sectors it can handle like you know this many read write errors so there is a whole pattern to that hard drive to specific to that model that you have uh, and there is a documentation where is that documented in that hard drive itself so you can read the data check it against what manufacturers expect and uh, what your current uh, condition of hard drive and then match it that way you will get comprehensive detail about like what the what the hell is happening now what does that mean for you and me nothing it simply means it's going to tell you whether your hard drive is healthy good or like you know caution or bad now if it means caution please back up important files away from it uh, so again even hard drive could still last very long but it's in danger mode so caution simply means back to your back up your important folder bad simply means it's about to die and it tells before something goes bad now it's not the software doing that that is the role of the smart that is why manufacturer uh, every hard drive manufacturers have smart heck even ssds have smart even they don't need it technically but they still have that and you will a lot of this like you know spin uh, retry count power on hours power, uh, seek power rates all those issues and if you can have a screenshot of this before your hard drive failed you can give it to that data to uh, basically data recovery system and they can sort through this and, oh this is the fault so before even they touch to your hard drive they'll know okay this is the issue and that's what happened they can uh, help speedy recovery that's not guaranteed but it helps sometimes so th that is the whole point it helps you know before your hard drive and it also reads the temperature of the hard drive so if you have a faulty fan in some places in your computer and you don't have like you know <clears throat> A giant complicated UI where you're like what is the speed of every single fan this can help you out like at least your hard drives are cool so that is why I also prefer this application now all the application links are down below you can easily find them out and you can, you should uh, run them through uh, antivirus and all that I have checked them thoroughly in like entire forums and uh, multiple antivirus they are clean but I would still urge you caution is advisable and that's why I'm providing you direct links to those damn website so I hope this application made your life a bit easier. Hopefully you will tell me in the comments. And if you have any other applications, you're like, dude, what about this, this, this. Computer industry is huge. They have billions of applications and many of them are useful. So please uh, suggest me in the comment and I'll make again in a few months where like, you know, if I have uh, accommodated enough new applications, I'll uh, you know study about them. Because again, every YouTuber will give you a different. These are applications that I have learned through my experience and I wanted to share it with you. In that scenario, I hope you liked it, learn from it. In that case, please click the like button, share it amongst your friend that will help me a lot if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it i'd urge you to press this like press it twice to show me your disappointment and please leave a comment because i'll try to reply to all of them subscribe press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching